Hi there, um, my name is Shelby Rojas. And I'm Louise Ross. So a little bit about us, we met in 2004 on a cruise ship. We both worked on a ship at the time. And uh, we married in 2007. 2007? Yes, 2007. 2008? Uh, 2008. 2008. And then we left ships in 2011 because we wanted to go have babies, which we had two beautiful little children, yeah. uh, little boys. And we lived in Costa Rica for four years. That's where Lewis is from. And uh, we started a business there. And then we realized, you know what? Uh, I got offered this great job so with a fabulous company. So we moved back to Florida about a year and a half ago, uh, May of 2015. Two years. So we're yeah. be two years, yeah. May of 2015, yeah. Totally. So anyway, uh, so we've been living in Florida in Delray Beach. I love it here. And uh, it's time for us to actually buy a house because we've been renting because we haven't had really any time between the new job and moving and taking care of the kids, um, we finally found a house or we found one that we love. So anyway, we lived here for two years and we actually wanted to get to know the area better. Yeah. And you know, and then we actually absolutely love it. So that's why we went out kind of go like that. Yeah, we love so, Delray Beach, Florida. It's beautiful. Yeah. Recommend it to anybody. Um, so let's see what, uh, well, I'm actually the vice president of Port Revenue for PPI Group. It's a huge publishing, advertising, and marketing company, media group here in Florida and Fort Lauderdale. And we work with 12 different cruise lines and a lot of local markets as well as, uh, throughout the Caribbean, uh, local markets in, in our Caribbean ports of call. Um, and Lewis has um, a very I'm, difficult job. <laughs> no. I'm a business owner. We, uh, actually the, the business that we opened and developed in Costa Rica. So I'm monitoring it all the way from here and I have a great team over there. So that's what I do. Um, most of the time I'm like, I online working from home and I'm a stay home dad. So I take care of the kids and I, tri I drive them to school and I uh, make meals and cook and everything and I write, wait for Shelby to come home at the end of the day with a fabulous dinner. Yeah, I personally think that he has um, a harder job than I do because I, I did do it for three years so I know it, it's very, very hard. It's harder than working, I think. Anyway, so here we are trying to find a house and uh, you wanted to know the styles that we prefer. Um, the good thing about Lewis and I is we both kind of like the same style. Um, we love Mediterranean. I fell in love with the red tiled roof many years ago and I just always pictured myself having like a beautiful red tile clay roof that they have in the Mediterranean homes. Mm -hmm. um, I prefer something maybe a little older with a little bit more character. Um, it's it's hard to find older here in Florida, but we found it. And oh, give me one second. Excuse me, Baba. Go ahead. Keep going. Keep talking. Okay. Well, anyway, I'm going to talk about my style. Uh, it's Mediterranean, but um, why we like Mediterranean? Well, I like Mediterranean because um, that's where my background is. Uh, mm -hmm. My family comes from the Mediterranean. So I actually uh, always felt like like uh, I love the architectural style of the of the um, the two story tile roof with a big driveway with um, these uh, like nice gardens in the in the front and like the uh, the big uh, round windows and the um, outside porches on the second floor and um, I like that style I think it's kind of like it's nice. And, um, so we like Mediterranean, okay? And yeah, I know. <laughs> but then so, I, like, I like Mediterranean, um, and uh, also I I as the thing is goes great with with Florida. So um, it's uh, it's it's really nice, especially with a with a peach color house. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> Not into peach, me no. Well, I, I don't want peach. Anyway, I make that very clear. Okay. So um, our budget is. It's kind of, we've been waffling a little bit. Uh, I think that we've looked and we think that, I think that 375 is a good budget. I don't think, I mean, <laughs> uh, this is what we were discussing. Um, I think at 350, around 350 is what we would like to go for. Okay, so we're like 350 Yeah, 375, I think it's just way too high. I mean, it's, it's, I mean. Well, yeah. um, next question is our dream home. And oddly enough, when I don't, my, my dream home is, is nothing like, anything that you would even see in Florida. I love that Lake Tahoe kind of modern yet rustic uh, mountain style home with the big, beautiful, great rooms with the gorgeous, uh, you know, wooden beams uh, with cathedral ceilings with mm. modern and rustic elements and um, a huge balcony overlooking a mountaintop with like a jacuzzi and even an outdoor kitchen and big great rooms and cathedral. I mean, that's just, that's me. Um, I love 
mountain homes and like more like Aspen or Lake Tahoe or whatever. So that's really my like dream home would be something like that with like a huge lot overlooking beautiful mountains and even like having like one of those, like if you're asking for dreams, I would love to have like an indoor heated pool with like an atrium <laughs> yeah. style ceiling or yeah. roof that would open when it's warm in summer time you know where i can actually get the sunlight but then close it in the winter <laughs> so i can enjoy the heated pool and you asked about the dream and that would be my ultimate dream home living in beautiful mountains somewhere okay <laughs> so mine is still mediterranean but i would like it to be by like the ocean a uh, big, nice two-story uh, house. I'm talking about five thousand square uh, feet. Like you the know? big mountain mansions uh, you see, like, like big, in Boca. Like yeah, like, <laughs> like a driveway and a big front lawn. A lot, a big space in front with a lot of tall trees and a nice like um, backyard. Very comfortable, like open space at the same time. At the same time, a uh, pool, okay. a big, nice pool, a uh, nice outside porch on the second floor, and... So that's uh, your dream home. We're getting kind of, we're, we're kind of going okay. on and on. So, okay, our wish list. Uh, our wish list for our house is uh, one single family home, uh, detached from anything yeah. single family home. Um, I don't mind uh, existing or new build. Uh, existing or new build. Um, I... Don't mind putting in a little bit of time and renovation, um, maybe going lower in price for some of our own established fixtures that we want in it, or uh, doing a little bit of renovating. Um, Louis, you prefer? I don't, I don't, I, I mean, I don't mind existing, but I just want a, a turnkey home. I mean, like, I just want to have, like, modern, ready, okay, it's great. I don't like to go through renovations or, like, think about, oh, we're going to fix this or fix that. I'm actually like We could actually personalize it and do our own. Yeah, but we can personalize our modern, too. I mean, yeah, what I'm saying what if, what if, if it's already fixed, it's already got the fixtures on it, so it's kind of nice mm -hmm. to have a little personalization. I, of course, I, I say this, want, but I'm, yeah. I wouldn't be involved well, in any of the renovations. The thing the thing is, the thing is, I I would I would like a house that is uh, um, not older than two thousand. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, something like that. Uh, sometimes, you know, in the mid nineties, you know, you get you get. I don't he's know, afraid that wear and tear. He's afraid like that. A twenty year old house just, is going to need a this re is a roof. I want something and modern. He's something such a worry new. Work. Yeah. Um, anyway, so. Um, area is really important for us. Like, for example, here in South Florida, there is the Turnpike or there's 95. And if you have to drive on 95, mm -hmm. you can pretty much add another half an hour to or, your commute or, every day. Yeah. Um, so I actually live right where we live right now is I live in Fort, I work in Fort Lauderdale and I live in Del Rey. And I'm right off of the Turnpike. And it literally takes me 25 minutes mm -hmm. to get to work. Um, and I spend about 10 hours a day at work. So it's really important for my commute not to be any more than 30 minutes. So yeah. in terms of location, we want to be very close to where we are now. Um, no more than like maybe five or eight more minutes of a commute for me because I don't want to be in the car any more than an hour. I'm away from my family a lot because of my job and because I travel with it as well. So no more than a commute than like a half an hour, 35 minutes. So location and is also, really And also, as we said before, uh, we like the area, so we like Delray, we're looking for yeah. maybe Boca, make it Boca Raton, or the west part of uh, Boynton Beach, but uh, we like this area, we want to stay in yeah. this area. Yeah, like towards, I, I actually didn't mind going towards 95, but then I really thought about it, and I've mm. actually taken 95 a few times, and it's a little chaotic, so I prefer Turnpike, super simple, super easy, um, and, okay, so we want four bedroom, two bath. Uh, at least two full bathrooms. Yeah. At least two full bathrooms. Now, what I want to say is bedrooms. I would like to have a big master bedroom um, with a nice walk-in closet. A lot of closet space because I finally, finally want to be able to sleep where my clothes are, okay? Because <laughs> I haven't had that pleasure of having my clothes in the same place I sleep. Yeah, Louis has been... You know, fair enough. He's actually... I've had to... He's used the guest bedroom. Uh, that's where mm -hmm. he puts his clothes. It's always in the guest bedroom yeah, um, because yeah. I need a bigger, I have a lot of things in my closet other than my stuff. There's things, there's, it's also storage. So I've never shared a closet with Lewis and I, I, I don't know if I'm, we'll see how this works out. Uh, but he would like to have a bigger, really big closet so he can have some of it and use in the master bedroom. Yeah. Um, now in terms of the bathroom, yeah. the master bathroom is really important for Lewis. Um, I just want a big, nice master bathroom. I would love a jacuzzi um, because I've never really had one. 
Uh, I know a lot of people say they, they get one and they never really use it, so it's kind of stupid, but I still want one. I don't know. I um, want a big, spacious, uh, spacious bathroom with two, sinks, do, yeah. two sinks um, and a shower, maybe a tub, and, and of course, separate. But there's, I, I share, I mean, I share everything with my wife, but there's only one thing that I like to do alone, and that it's... I would like to have a toilet with a separate door separated <laughs> from that so I can have my privacy there. That's the only thing. I'm fine with that. Um, kitchen. Yes, yes. Let's talk about oh, the yeah, kitchen. Oh, yeah, and the kitchen. Um, kitchen is super important. I've always had tiny kitchens. In my mm -hmm. house where I grew up, my house, my kitchen, my dad always built the houses that we lived in. And he was uh, the cook. So we always had this huge grand kitchen with big island. And it was always a great room. Like the kitchen was next to the dining room, was next to the living room. So that he was always in the kitchen, always cooking. And it was big. And he's a great cook. So I always had big kitchens, lots of counter space, islands and everything. And since I've left home, I've never had a big kitchen. And I really want... A, a bigger mm -hmm. kitchen, maybe not yeah. as big as my dad's because his was quite large, but a bigger kitchen with lots of counter space. And I really like the apartments that we live in now as a breakfast nook, which I love. Like we have like five or six people lining up uh, so that you can serve them and be cooking and talking to them. And it's really easy to feed the kids that way when you, you can do the dishes. And I love the big breakfast nook. Uh, yeah, I do. I do. I want a comfortable kitchen. I, I cook a lot, uh, as I said, you know, and I like I like my space to have my space and cupboards, uh, cupboards and cabinets and where he I can store to, stuff and yeah. and have appliances, you know, um, on the countertop <laughs> yeah, or all of our close appliances by. Are like in the pantry. Yeah, right I will show you later. <laughs> I will show you later what's going on with so the kitchen here. He also like he likes really contemporary. I don't mind like yeah. older. I think it's not older, but like I like older accents to a kitchen in terms of cabinetry. He likes Thanks. super contemporary. I like a little bit older. Um, yeah. Now for flooring I love hardwood floors I like ceramic tiles and I like uh, I like car carpet I like carpet I like hardwood floors so I would love to find a place with hardwood floors um, yeah. in terms of like okay so here's one thing that I don't really understand which we kind of differ on when we come when it comes to like when you're looking for houses and there's always that master living room that everybody uses and then there's always that extra sitting room I don't really understand that um, <laughs> I don't get it. Like, if nobody's, I mean, because you're always going to be in the master area by the kitchen hanging out, and, and I don't get the extra sitting room with the furniture that's never really used. So, I actually would love to use something like that for like a kid's playroom. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I would love to have, because, you know, the kid's room, right now it's their room. Open and then, concept. You like the yeah. open concept? I love the open concept, yeah. and I want it to be like a big kitchen, big mm -hmm. area to dine, big living room, and then. That little space off the living room, which is the other normal sitting room or whatever, I'd love a kids' play area downstairs. Mm -hmm. Not the living room as the kids' play area, but a separate kids' play area in the same area. Um, and that's, you know, even Lois was like, well, why would you It's why would you put the sitting room as the kids' play area? But I was like, well, it's my house. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> Who says I have to have a sitting yeah. room? I'd rather have the kids' play area. Um, deal breakers for us. Well, uh, a deal breaker for me will be uh, I need to look uh, at the area of the area and find out great schools for our kids because they're just about to start elementary, actually the oldest one, and we need to. I, I want great schools, so I need to find out first the schools in the area, and if they're not good or rated, you know, A or something like that, uh, I walk away. Uh, another thing will be the HOA, the Homeowners Association mm -hmm. fee. Um, something around three hundred or higher, mm, probably three hundred or less. Three hundred um, or less will be fine, but th over three hundred, I I wouldn't. And obviously, I don't mind a gated community. Um, uh, I don't mind a, a gated community with like access to recreational, like swimming pool and and, and basketball court and I playground, but. I, it's not like I don't mind a gated community either, but typically with gated communities, you have like those cookie cutter houses yeah. that all look the same. And I would prefer maybe an older I don't mind the houses all look a little different. I don't mind yeah. that as long as the house is modern and, and nice and 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 and, yeah. and, and beautiful. Like okay, there's pretty. like a couple deal breakers for me, and that would be um, I don't want closed rooms. I want open concept, no, no question. Um, there's also one thing that's really odd, but I can't stand it, is when there's like little steps up or down, and like I don't understand why there's many little steps up into a room or one step up for no other reason than to irritate me. Um, so I don't like little steps. There's a staircase going upstairs, perfect, but I don't want a house with little steps up and little steps down. Um, I, let's see. Um, oh, popcorn ceiling. Oh, popcorn ceiling. No, <laughs> popcorn no, 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 no. Either I have to be able to get rid of them, which yeah. I think is pretty simple 
but no. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't mind taking them out and, and redoing it also. So um, I will never live in a popcorn ceiling house again. Um, I don't know. I think that's it. Yeah, um, exactly. we we're really, Well, we're actually we went through with the yeah. things that we don't like and uh, we just, yeah. Yeah, uh, I think that's it. Um, now, the last part is um, I'm going to, we're going to see the, I'm going to show you the, the kitchen. She's going to show you the area of the house. And by the last part, just to um, summarize and finish is the um why do we want to be in-house hunters oh okay do you want to go go. well i want to go i i want to do this because this is this is an exciting uh part of our life we're gonna we're getting our house you know the house where we're gonna grow roots in and i i like the fact that um i would like to have besides just pictures and show our kids when they grow up and they're older, you know, they're like, hey, you know, this is a picture, a couple of pictures of our host. No, the whole experience of having an episode yeah, done and cool. showing them, it's going to be very, yeah. very cool to show them. It's like, see, it's not only pictures, it's actually an episode where you can see the whole <laughs> the struggle, the frustration, all this and that, what we like, what we didn't like, and why we chose this. Yeah. So they're actually going to have a really great memory. And I think it's... So it's, a, it's a good thing to pass on to. Them. We have been kind of wanderlust for mm. ten years of our relationship. We haven't we haven't lived in one spot for more than three or four years, and now yeah. we know this is going to be it. This is our house. This is where we're going to wow. grow old. This is where the kids are going to become teenagers. And, um, and we want, we want. I actually love house centers. Like I remember living in <laughs> yeah. Costa Rica and really discovering it for the first time when I lived there, and just being addicted to it, watching people, finding out what people like, what people don't like. All I learned so much about. Uh, houses and I learned so much about areas that I had no clue about and um, I would love to be a part of it because it's something yeah. that I've looked into a lot and I just I'd love to be a I part of it. I just think it will be it will be very nice and then very cool for um, our kids to even show their friends you know all their you know <laughs> later on and teenagers or whatever hey look at that you know. <laughs> Alright well that's it I think we're way over the time yeah, we were sorry supposed about to be. That. Sorry about that. This, sorry. Is, this is us. Um, they'll have a lot of material. As you can see, when your video team comes here, they'll have a lot of material to edit out. There will be no um, mm-hmm. issue about that. So, my name is Shelby Rojas. Um, and I'm Luis Rojas, and thank you so thank much you for, for watching us. us. Yeah. Okay. Good night. Bye. Bye.